very lovely and exciting sort of a day. One, I have hung up some gorgeous art prints. These were a gift from a good friend of ours for our baby shower and I was just able to hang them up which makes me so happy. They are a couple of art prints from the A Redwall Winter's Tale which is a Redwall picture book by Brian Jakes and it was illustrated by Christopher Denise who is one of my all-time favorite illustrators. <laughs> and I am just so beyond thrilled to have these art prints. I have wanted them for years and years and we own them now and I am just, I could not be happier about it. And I am, they're above my sewing machine so I'm going to see them all the time. <sighs> it just makes me so happy. <laughs> Other than that, another exciting thing that is happening today is I am actually going to be going to Hobby Lobby to buy some more fabric. And now, for most people, you might think, what's so thrilling about this? I have actually used up all of the cotton dressmaking fabric that I have in my stash. I have two dresses over here, which are 99% done. I have mislaid my all, A-W-L. <laughs> it's a pokey thing. <laughs> I have misplaced it and I cannot find it, so I cannot install the snaps that I wanted to do in the shoulders. And so, they're so close to being done, but I'm gonna get another replacement one when I'm at the store. But anyway, my, the deal I had with myself was that I wanted to use up all the fabric that I had for making dresses, and then I was going to allow myself to go to the store and buy some more. <laughs> so it's been such a long process of de-stashing and using stuff and whatnot to finally be at the place where I have used up all of my fabric. It's still a little bit weird to like think that I've done that and I'm just I'm so excited I get to go to the store and buy fabric and I don't have to talk myself out of it like that's the whole goal is to go and buy fabric for making more dresses. Also sorry if you can hear whistling I have the windows open and so um, the wind randomly will whistle through the window and I don't know why. <laughs> I wanted to talk really quickly there are a couple of different patterns that I'm going to be looking specifically for fabric for these. The first one, I don't have the physical pattern. I have the PDF pattern, so I'll pop a picture up here. It's the Sorrel Dress by Jennifer Lauren Handmade, and it's this really cute, simple button-down shirt dress, and I'm just gonna be using the bodice portion of it. I'm gonna do a full gathered skirt. That's my standard anyway, but also especially with making it bump friendly so that I can wear it during my pregnancy. That's one dress that I wanna get. Um, I'm thinking something specifically gingham for that one. That's kind of what I have in mind. Then I have this pattern, which I mentioned in my most recent podcast episode. It's Simplicity 9538. Traffic noises. <laughs> And it's just this really simple, sweet little peasant blouse, and I want to make version A, which is just the, the plainest version. I'm thinking that if I make this, it'll be really cute. I'm planning to get some maternity overalls from Old Navy, and I think it would just look so cute to wear this little peasant blouse with the overalls. I think it would be absolutely adorable. <laughs> So I'm gonna be looking for something for that. I'm try trying to decide, I might look for something that's like a, a double gauze or a cotton, um, like a lightweight cotton lawn, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what Hobby Lobby has. But I also did realize that this in Gingham would be really, really cute. So there are those two. And then the last one that I would like to make, I would have to make some decent modifications to this, is the Deer and Doe cardamom dress. I would just be using the bodice portion of it. And what I would like to do is, as you can see, there's kind of this bib portion of the dress. I would like to extend that button. I would like to extend this button band all the way down to the waist to make it breastfeeding friendly. And I'll have to shorten the bodice a little bit to make sure that <coughs> goodness allergies okay <laughs> i'll have to shorten the bodice just a little bit to make sure that it is um, bump friendly but i think that it would be just so cute i might actually i've been going back and forth on this the thing that I love about this dress pattern is I love this bib detail that it's just, it's so cute. It's like this little cut in here. Um, and I've made 
several different versions of this dress. I'm going back and forth between either having the buttons just go to the waist or to go all the way to the hem of the dress. Um, either either one would be really cute. I'll most likely leave off any sort of waistband. Um, again, I don't want anything tight in that particular area, so I'll probably just leave that off. But yeah, I think that that would be really cute. The other thing is, is that I may... Oh, I, I, the fabric that I'm thinking for this dress is, um, there's this really cute, like, ship boat print fabric. Um, I've seen it when I was at Hobby Lobby before. I think it would be really summery and cute and lovely. It's like a navy blue with, like, white, almost, like, technical drawings looking, and I just love that style of fabric. So that's what I'm kind of thinking for that one. But I also just kind of want to grab a couple of just simple floral fabrics. My budget is between 50 and 70 dollars which should get me about i'm estimating it'll be about 15 dollars per three yards of fabric hobby lobby is having a sale right now i should be able to get um between three and five dresses worth of fabric i don't want to get more than five pieces of fabric I, that's kind of the limit that i want to set myself i would like to have one extra one that's completely unplanned for on hand so that I can either make another Felicity dress or potentially I was thinking about this. I made a couple of like colder weather um, Jennifer Lauren handmade Asteria dresses and I absolutely love them. I wore them all the time when the weather was still pretty cold. I actually realized that it would be quite cute to make a spring like warm weather version of the Asteria dress. As a stereo dress. <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking through. That's kind of my, my thought process for this one. Um, I might look and see if there's any sort of cute fabric that I can use for something for the baby or potentially for like a nursing cover. Um, I need to make a couple of those so that I have that when the baby's born. But yeah, I'm just... I'm so excited. I get to go to the store and I get to buy fabric and I don't have to feel guilty about it or anything. Like this is this is the goal of going to the store. <laughs> So I'm going to take you guys along with me. Um, I don't know how much I will film when I'm actually in the store, but it's just going to be a lovely day. I will definitely talk you through what I buy once I get back. And yeah, and I'll also be able to show you what these two dresses look like um, because I'm going to get the tool so I can put the snaps in the shoulders so I can finish them. And I'm just so happy to have two more dresses to add to my wardrobe because right now I only have about five or six dresses that I can actually wear and as much as I like the idea of having a minimalist wardrobe, I don't like having a minimalist wardrobe. <laughs> I like having some options. Obviously I wear these dresses from Old Navy an inordinate amount. They're in heavy rotation at the moment because they're just so comfortable. I can actually stand up and show you a little bit. They're just so loose and blousey and they're long. They have pockets. Uh, they accommodate the bump and I can super easily roll up the sleeves if I want to have shorter sleeves or like a lightweight cotton lawn. I just love these. I have three different um, fabric prints. I think I bought one of every fabric print that Old Navy had available um, and I just I absolutely love them. I want more of my own handmade clothes to toss into the mix of things that I want to wear. That's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> I've also been doing a little bit of journaling, which is making me very happy. Um, I got some journaling supplies in the mail a couple days ago, and I'm super pleased with them. I will be talking about them in another video. I'm gonna hopefully make a journaling supplies what I have sort of a video. Um, I have my six week binder that I want to talk about and like the refill pages and I'm just gonna kind of do a little video about all of that so stay tuned for that. But yeah it's a really nice day it's supposed to get very very warm outside <laughs> so I'm enjoying having the windows open for a couple hours here in the morning before I need to close them and turn the air conditioning on because it gets unbearably warm. <laughs> but yeah so that's what we're gonna be up to now I think I'm gonna do a little bit of CAD work. Um, I do, I'm working part-time from home um, doing some architectural drawings and whatnot. So I have a little bit of that that I'm going to try and do before I go to the store just to kind of like, you know, do some work and then have all the fun. I also wanted to say thank you so much for all of you that left such lovely, lovely comments on my last kind of cozy, quiet day in the life where I just went to Joanne's and then kind of came home. It was such a simple little vlog and I didn't think it would be terribly interesting, but several of you, <laughs> that, that window, <laughs> 
several of you left such sweet lovely comments on there and I just so appreciated it. It just made me very happy because these are the types of vlogs that I love to make. They're so realistic for my day-to-day -day life in that I don't go to cafes all the time and I don't always go shopping and go places. I'm a homebody and I'm home 99% of the time um, during the week and it's just lovely that so many of you were able to enjoy that as well. But now I'm gonna go drink some water, <laughs> blow my nose, allergies, and get to work. Okay, enough work for now. I've worked for about just over an hour. About an hour and 15 minutes, which is pretty good. I actually have to also go to the grocery store. So it's going to be a long trip because Hobby Lobby is that way and the grocery store is that way. But it'll be fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that done. It's about 10.30 and I would love to get back before 1. That would be really nice. I'm gonna get me some ramen. Just the cheap stuff. Because, yum. <laughs> Back home with my goodies. <laughs> Let me show you what I got. So, it's gonna be a little bit of crinkling. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. First off, I got a all so that I can finish those dresses over there. I actually really like this one because it has a, a nice wood handle. And the one that I had, oh yeah, this is like exactly the same thing. It's just nicer. <laughs> That's perfect. So I got four pieces of fabric and I accidentally, I didn't realize one of the ones that I got was actually on clearance and so it was only $3 a yard which made me very happy. Here's what we're looking at. I got this beautiful gingham fabric. It's kind of a burnt orange, a burnt mustardy orange almost. And I got this to use for making this blouse because I realized that if I get like denim overalls. I didn't want to do a blue gingham and all the other ginghams are just, they were too light for my taste. So that's what that's for. And then I got, <laughs> I got this one. I was looking at a different boat fabric, which was the one I talked to you before about. And then this one was right next to it. And I really loved both of them, but I just, I decided to grab this one and it turns out that worked out really well because this is actually the one that was on clearance um, so it was only nine dollars for the three yards that I needed to make the cardamom dress so I think that would be very cute so there's that and then I got well I was going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to use that fabric for the cardamom or this one which is just a navy blue gingham and I think it's gonna make the cutest dress. Uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's gonna be adorable. So I'm still going back and forth on whether or not I wanna use the sailboat for the cardamom or this gingham. This one was kind of the odd one out, if you will. And then, <sighs> I was originally planning to make these Jennifer Lauren handmade sorrel dress out of a gingham fabric. And then I saw this one, and I think that this would be just perfect. <laughs> it's a little crazy, not gonna lie, I'm gonna look like a Patrick quilt, but I just, I've seen it a couple of times, I just love the different colors in here. 
It's so springy and light and bright and happy and I just couldn't resist it. So I think I'm going to make the sorrel dress out of this one because I think it would be just beautiful with the buttons on the front, something very simple and plain, nothing too crazy. Just a light comfy sort of a dress and I like that it's a very light colored fabric but it has enough color in it that it works. It's like the in-between between the normal like very patterned fabrics that I get and the light color fabrics that I really like just don't like on me. So that was what I got and I am super pleased with it. It worked out that it was less than $50 for all of it which made me very happy. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm going to I'm gonna go finish those dresses because I'm just peeved that I couldn't do it before. Ooh, that's nice and sharp. So, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I now have two finished dresses. I am so pleased with these. I can't wait until tomorrow when I'll get to wear them or wear one of them. Let me see. Just got all those random little threads to snip off. Well, they turned out just perfect. And I can't wait. I can't wait to wear them and see how comfy they're gonna be. This worked magically. I'm almost kind of glad I lost my other one because this one works so well. Like I love the little handle. I love how it looks. It's just a little bit bigger than my other one and so it makes the holes even better. Yeah, I'm super super pleased. I'm so happy to get these done. And with that, that brings us to the end of this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed the little snippet here. I've just got to get those fabrics washed and then I will probably be making some form of videos on the projects that I'm planning to make with them. Um, probably not all of them, but probably some of them. <laughs> I am so excited to get cutting into those fabrics and getting different outfits done. For the rest of the evening, nothing too big planned. I'm gonna sit and watch a couple of YouTube videos now. Um, there's, it's Friday and so many of the people that I am subscribed to upload videos on Friday so I've got a few different videos to watch and I am going to work on some more journaling at some point. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna sit and do some knitting and just relax for a bit. My husband ended up, he had to work about an hour later than normal tonight so he's not gonna be home for a bit. Um, so I have a little bit of extra free time so yay. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I can't wait to share with you the projects that I'm going to be making. And I will see you very soon on the next one. Bye!